Hello, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, which was eating Halloween food for 24 hours, it's not actually up as I record this, but it's due up tomorrow. Because today's video going up as I'm filming this is um, the chicken kebabs. Now today we're making choc orange and white chocolate Halloween cakes in my mould. Now we may be doing two trays worth of this, but I've also got some orange icing to um, make the icing orange. But I'm so, so excited, I cannot even flipping tell you. So, for this, I'm half and everything, but the full amount, you need butter, which is in the fridge, 175 of that, 175 sugar, four oranges, but I don't need that many. Um, you need zest of four and juice of one. You need four eggs, which I've got. Silver raisin flour, 100. Tablespoon of baking powder. 200 grams, 100 grams of white chocolate, 100 grams of ground almond, which I'm not using. And then for the icing, you need white chocolate, creme fraiche, and white chocolate to decorate. Now, I have got something I've never ever tried before, and we're gonna do before I start. Terry's chocolate orange pieces. Never tried them before. And we've also got some white chocolate Kit Kats. We've also got some milky bar buttons. We've also got some plain milk chocolate to go on the top. And then we've got some white fridge covered pretzels I've never tried before. So I'm gonna open these and give these a try. I think for the middle, we're gonna use Terry chocolate orange and Kit Kats. And then maybe a few buttons as well. But it's orangey, so we're going to use all of these because it's like an orangey kind of cake. Oh, they're that half end. Look, what a rip off! They're all the way down there. They smell insane. Hurry, chocolate orange. Mm. I've never tried these before, but these might go on the top. I'm not decided yet. Mm. They're amazing. Well, it's an orange cake. We're doing orange in the middle as well. Give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let's get straight into it. So, the kettle's gonna go on. So we can melt some chocolate. While that melting, I'm gonna do my butter and sugar. I'm also going to get a wooden spoon. So, I need 87 grams of each. They are amazing. You can use any chocolate you want. Or any white chocolate you want. I'm going to make whatever this bit of butter out so you can Actually, too much. So I might be doing um, two trays of my Halloween thing. I'm not. Depends how much I take. I know it's only the full amount. It'll be way too much. I'll find half in. These sleeves don't actually roll up. That's from Lakeland, the one where I got my Halloween mould from. So it's a pretty good one. Right, I'm 
And now we're going to kind of like the cream, not really cream, we're not doing the creaming method. We're just kind of like mixing it with combined, well combined. Well combined is the answer. With half the sugar now on the table. So you want your butter kind of soft. If it's rock hard, it, you don't want to melt it in the microwave, but you could soften it in the microwave if it's hard. I've been so excited to make these for a while now, and I've never got round to it. Because I've had a list of all my videos, and I'm doing it in the order. So stress me out if I don't. I'm just combining this. Arms are going to hurt, so I'm going to stop there. Taking the calculator off the table, which is covered in sugar. Taking off the scales, which might help with the actual mixing of. So that's combined. I'm going to add the water into here. I'm not using the ground almonds. But in here, because it's an orange cake, it's going to have terry chocolate orange, the whole thing, and we're going to have four Kit Kats. So I need to open up the So we've got like wafer and biscuit. Some people can't have wafer and biscuit. I think wafer and biscuit is amazing. So you're basically going to melt all this down. We might add a few buttons as well, just depends how much chocolate it is. We don't want over chocolatey. I don't think the pretzels are going to go in, I think I've got too much now. I really wanted the chocolate orange because obviously it's white chocolate and it's just any chocolate. And I'm thinking it's an orange cake, why not get chocolate orange? And you can get white chocolate orange. You don't, they don't have in Sainsbury's or M&S, they do have it in Alza. So if you want to know where you get white chocolate orange from, Alza's the place. So I'm going to get a spoon to um, mix this when it starts. That might be enough chocolate actually for the middle. But anyway, now, now this is mixed. I'm going to give it one last slice. Mix. We're now going to zest. I've been going for like nearly 10 minutes, I've barely started. We're going to get two oranges, because I'm half of mine. We're going to zest two oranges and then we're going to juice one of them. But we're not juicing them just yet. I have got some oranges, but they're a bit gone off like. So I'm going to use a smaller one. Try and get as much of the peel off as possible, but don't go too far so you get to the white bit, because that white bit is inedible. And then you want to bash your grater, because if there's any stuck in the middle, It might get stuck up the grater. Um, these take around half an hour to make, so I might to cook. I mean, so I might have to bake the second batch later if it's too much for one batch. And then you want to simply mix it so your zest, orange zest is 
mixed in. Give it one big cream it you do not have to cream it now if you're going to put the ground almonds in do that um, so with the four egg which I better have you only need you only want the white you only want the yolk so Get these scales out of the way. So I need two eggs. But you need them to separate. How to separate an egg is you do this. You put it over whichever one you want the white in. Obviously we don't want the white. And then you get it through your fingers like this. So all the white gone. And then you put the yolk in. Doesn't matter if the yolk the yolk splits as long as you've got all the yolk in the right bowl now I'm going to wash my hands get all the yucky egg stuff off that the mucky weird egg off my hand now I'm going to give the egg a good mix It will be on the liquidy side because you've got the egg in and no flour. You haven't actually got any of the orange in the icing, so you need to get all your orange flavours in here. This is taking a while to melt down because there's quite a lot of it. So I'm just going to leave that to do its thing a bit longer. You might add a few buttons as well have some like plain white chocolate as well because we've got this whole bar for the top actually how much is in we might need it all for the top actually it was a bigger bar like a galaxy capri's bar that was bigger and an extra pound so that was a pound with almost two pounds but i just think milky bar is nice and i didn't think i needed it it starts, it starts getting hot and then use a glove or something. This writing is really... So now I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder and 50 grams or 100 grams of the flour. But I'm going to mix in the baking. I'm going to mix in the baking powder first. I actually want to try with pretzels, I've never tried. There's like wafer and chocolate orange in it. I'm definitely going to have to turn that down because it's like going berserk. We're going to keep mixing that because the wafer bits need to break down a bit more. Now I need to scale back to weigh my flour. If you've got a sieve that's clean, sieve it. My sieve is in the dishwasher and it's not finished, so it takes two hours. And I've used it today. Maybe half a mixture is not enough for one tray. I don't know how much it was going to make, but one tray doesn't seem, one half of it doesn't seem a lot. Half doesn't seem like a lot of cake. So I'll tell you when. So normally, um, I might have to do the full amount because I don't have much cake mixture. This is melting down nicely. Just going to break up the wafer bits so they... So 
I am going to do the full amount because it doesn't, I've got virtually no cake. Well, we'll just see. It's not much cake. I'm going to see if I can taste the... Now we need to add the egg whites, which so you do actually need your egg whites, which I didn't actually know. So you're going to add your egg whites, give your egg whites a stir. This will make it more liquidy like and more cake like, so before it might have been a bit stiff. You want to give that a good mix. Make sure you're reading the instructions and the quantities right. Like you do need the quantities right. For a cake to work. Then Try to decipher where the put me the baking powder. Right, the almonds, if you're doing almonds, should be in. Now I need to cut one of my oranges in half and zest and juice it in. Check in on my wafers is not breaking down. Give that like another minute to see if wafers break down. And now I'm going to juice one of my oranges. Check for pips. And you want to juice both halves. And then you want to mix in your juice. And I am going to add some buttons in. So I'm going to get some buttons added in if I can open them. Just make it a bit more white because the wafers made it go brown. The wafers made it go brown, so I'm making it more white chocolate like. But it smells amazing. I'm going to dye the other chocolate and orange. And obviously, pumpkin's orange. wafer bits in there but that is going to be hot so I'm going to put that on there for now so this cake itself is actually made so let's um, tidy up a bit Table one. So in here we've got the chocolate orange, we've got the white chocolate orange, 
we've got the white Kit Kat with the wafers and we've also got the chocolate buttons. It's hot, so I'm going to have to do it like this. Can't even lift it out with that hot. So it has gone a bit brown like because of the wafer, but it is white chocolate. And then we're going to mix the white. Now I've got two spoons. Now we're going to mix it in. It should be really white chocolatey, creamy. So we've got white chocolate orange, white Kit Kat, and some white buttons. Oh my goodness, look at this. Phone cut out, I don't know where I left off. Basically what I'm saying, I've got milky bar buttons, uh, white chocolate orange and Kit Kat in here and loads of orange it is absolutely let me just try a little bit now we're going to Get it into a jug. We're going to pour the mixture into a jug. And then we're going to jug it into the mould. If there's too much mixture, we'll just do another tray full after. Well, I will anyway. And you don't need to watch me put another tray in. I did half the recipe, so just remember I halved it. But I didn't put the almonds in either, so. If you're doing the full amount, it does come out to a lot. These will take, well, it depends, because mine are smaller than what the I would say half an hour maybe. I'm not going to get another tray out of this. I don't even think I've got enough to fill this tray. I'm not sure I've got enough for the last one, which is depressing. Let me try and scrape them out because I want to make sure there's enough this one's a bit overflowy so I could dollop a bit out this one's still a bit overflowy I put way too much I got a bit carried away at the beginning I think but now I'll make sure Now you're going to put the lid on, squash it down a bit, and then that's going to go in the oven for half an hour. Obviously you know how much mine made, so you know how much a full batch would make. So they take half an hour to cook, so you've got about 20 minutes to you have to make the filling. Well, not filling, you like the top, if you want to call it. Which is a mixture of creme fraiche, 
chocolate. And then I'm adding, uh, I'm adding the eyes into it because it's Halloween. Um, yeah, I might add orange into it as well because it is orange. And I think I'm going to go and do a bit of washing up or put them in the dishwasher. So I will catch you in a bit for when they are uh, cooked. Right. So, I had difficulties getting them out. One of them did break. But what I'm going to do is, because I have to run now because it's going to get dark, and my run was due ages ago, I'm going to dip. So I basically melted some chocolate, whipped up the creme fraiche, and added some orange um, icing. I'm going to dip them all in here, and then put them in the fridge to like freeze. I was thinking the freezer, but if I go out, they may be too long. I'm going to put them in the fridge to harden, and then I'm going to have them for my dessert. So I won't try them now, because obviously they're still quite hot. And I'm going to put them in here. And I'm just going to mix them around, make sure they're fully covered, making sure they're fully covered in the icing. And I might, when they're like, when they've like set, I'm going to um, put some of the white chocolate pretzel on the top. I know I've not got enough chocolate here because I used it all while the filling, but what I'm saying is And this last one hasn't really got enough chocolate on it. So I need to like grab some from the others. But I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna put them in the fridge to set and then I'm gonna put some pretzels in them at the end. Hopefully this comes off like orange icing. That's the key. And that's the key to that. And then I'm thinking I burnt myself in. I'm gonna go for a run, let them set. They don't look amazing yet, but when they're done set, they'll be amazing. And I'll show you them what they're doing for my dessert. 